Hello, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Fall Semester. Jason's Chapel. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in us and thank you for your time. Today we do have special guest speakers. Uh, two alumni uh, from Juniper Christian School and we do have special interview and share the story in the name of Christ. Hopefully you're going to have a good time and enjoy this chapel and get encouraged each other. Let's have an introduction. For each person. Hi, my name is Caleb Kim. I am currently a student at NYU, a film student, uh, an upcoming sophomore, and I graduated JCS at 2022 um, fall semester. No, spring semester. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, hey guys, my name is <coughs> Micah Kim, and um, I graduated from JCS, I think 2017, summer. Um, and I graduated from Biola University, and I'm currently working as a development officer at a nonprofit. All right, thank you. 2017. I believe so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then you graduate uh, 2022. Two. This. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 2017. About yeah. six years ago. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's already been six no, years. Now I can't you're believe about it. thirty then, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say uh, half 50, right? Half 50. <laughs> half 50. My half 50. Half 50. Yeah. He's 26 in right. Korea. Time flies, time flies. 26. Okay. So, um, thank you for your time. Of really, course. Especially the, um, Micah, you've been, when was the last time you came back to Korea? Um, it's It's been about two and a half to three years, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. before COVID. Um, no, actually, it was during COVID. Oh. Yeah, and then I had to leave to um, for my college graduation. Yeah, mm. so that was, I think, 2021, I believe. Yeah, 2021, March-ish, I left Korea. Mm. Yeah. It was uh, during the COVID season, right? It was yeah, it was, um, I mean, it was like kind of at the ending phase, I believe. No. Um, was it ending. Not? It was kind of in the middle. I, I guess in America, it was kind of... Yeah, I, I, yeah. in Korea, it was still like mid-phase, like, right. like everyone wearing masks and everything. Uh, yeah. How was your graduation ceremony? The, my, the, the university is that, my, is uh, it virtual? Yes, it was virtual. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, I, you know, I it was it was a cool graduation. You know, it was it was a pretty cool experience just sitting in front of my laptop. Yeah. Mm. Was, oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very interesting experience. And then the um, graduation, like, kind of was a diploma. You got it. Yeah, I got in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No one handed it to me. Oh wow. Yeah. Was yeah. it mandatory to participate the uh, graduation ceremony? Um, it was not. It was um, not yeah. So the graduation ceremony did happen in uh, person, but uh, um, I just I judged that it wouldn't be necessary, or okay. I, I know I I thought it would be a little dangerous. So okay. yeah, at that time, so you know, just got it online. Yeah, okay, got handed to me through the mail. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. So uh, let's uh, once again the uh, Micah Kim graduate. Uh, 2017 and Caleb Kim graduate uh, 2022 two. Two. so which is the last year yeah we're gonna have uh, two more uh, alumni students in July 2023 mm -hmm. so they are going to um, give us another good story so um, nice. so let's talk about your life it's like how you uh, decide decide you know the studying a certain major when you apply to college and a lot of you know our school students, uh, especially the high school kids, uh, they really a little bit nervous or uh, not. I don't think they're excited to apply to college. <laughs> Maybe um, they want to know more about uh, your personal experience and advice. So a lot of kids that they, you know, when they are asked by this question, what is your dream, and what is your let's say your favorite thing that you wanna continually um, work on um, your college life or after graduation of you know, college. A lot, a lot of you know, these questions probably they may get, uh, let's say, some moment you know, hesitating uh, to you know, re response. So uh, let's talk about uh, how did you select or decide the major you study or you already finish your college? Mm -hmm. Let's get started from Micah. Okay. Um, so 
Actually, for me, when I went to college,、uh, when I went to Biola, I actually started out as an undeclared major.、Mm. Um, so, there are certain students who have like a very set goal or like a dream that they want to、um, achieve during college. But for me,、um, I think I was, you know, kind of around, kind of not really sure what I want to do.、Mm. Um, and that kind of, it kind of felt A bit depressing at that time,、mm-hmm. but、um, I still think that me starting out as undeclared was the best choice I could have made、mm-hmm. because、um, it gave me a lot of opportunities to explore different、mm-hmm. types of studies that I've never experienced before.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so I started my major as an undeclared major.、Um, and then、um, through my father's recommendation、mm-hmm. and、um, from the Seoul Seo- Seo- event,、mm-hmm. I kind of Kind of wanted to dive into journalism. So,、oh. yeah, so I started journalism and graduated with that degree, that major. Yeah. So, when did you, let's say, <clears throat> decide the、uh, journalism major?、Mm-hmm. Uh, let's say, what gr- grade, what year? What year? Yeah.、Um, it was the end of freshman year, actually. Oh. Yeah. So,、okay. um, I took some journalism classes on the side. Because that's、uh, as an undeclared major, you can do that. You can just explore different classes.、Hmm. Yeah, so, and it kind of just came to me, yeah. What would be, let's say, like, you know, your advice, those、mm-hmm. who, let's say, you know,、uh, may go to college, apply to college, like what's that, with the,、uh, mm-hmm. undi- you know, decided、mm-hmm. major,、mm-hmm. then still, like, you know, like curious or kind of、um, have no idea what, you know, to、mm-hmm. do, especially until finishing the freshman year.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, it's always good to decide what major you want to pursue.、Mm. I guess that's, of course, that's ideal, but if that's not your situation,、mm. that's not something you should be like sad or like, oh, like,、mm. I don't know what to do with my life. Like, it's totally fine because、um, college is more about learning how to manage your time,、mm. how to live life,、mm. how to handle money、mm. sometimes.、Um, that's true. And there are way much more things、mm. that are outside of your major classes.、Mm. So it's always important to consider what kind of school, like what, what's the vibe of the school? What's、mm. the, what kind of presence does the school have?、Mm. And what kind of community does it have?、Mm. So、um, I think, yeah, so I think going in as an undeclared major isn't a bad choice. It's a、mm. great choice, actually,、mm-hmm. if you aren't sure. Yeah, at the moment. Sounds great. Yeah. How about Killa? Um,. I'm studying film right now, and I wanted to study film since I was in, I think I was in like sixth grade.、Mm. Um, I think the biggest reason why I wanted to study film in college also was because、mm. I knew I was interested in many things,、mm. almost everything, and I wasn't good at everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I, I, I knew so, I, like, I had to just. About everything that I was interested in,、uh. but I was never a master of any of them.、Mm. And film is a study where every experience counts every math experience, every, every art experience, every、um, literature experience matters in film because it's a collaborative art and、mm. you can be part of it when you have more experience in many different fields of study.、Mm. And so I think. Um, when I was making films and when I was watching films, it made me feel like I, I was capable of doing something.、Mm. And especially because I'm a person who wants to tell a story,、um, I thought that film would be a great fit.、Um, because I wasn't ta- like, as talented in art as other people, or、mm. as talented in, I don't know, acting or singing or anything else. I just wanted to do everything. And I think when you do film, you can really do everything. So、mm. I think that was the biggest reason why I chose film.、Mm. And I so far am enjoying my process a lot.、Mm. Yes. Nice. So before you select, I mean, I'm pretty sure you, you, do ha- you had a certain, let's say,、uh, some goal or、um, your favorite part, which is the、uh, filming. How did you prepare、um, during the you know, high school time to apply to this major?、Um, I always had it in my mind for sure because when I was writing my essays or my、um, resume, when I was making my resume, I always had that in mind. Like,、mm. how am I going to make myself,、mm. my portfolio, how am I 
I make myself look like、mm. a person who is really passionate about this, and because you can't really, because I didn't have any interviews、mm. with the、uh, colleges,、mm. so you can't really show yourself up in other ways than just writing your essay.、Um, mm. So I think I focused on. Trying to show my passion and、mm. why I want to make film、um, mm. in my as- essay, and、mm. also since it's a film school,、um, I had to make a portfolio, which、mm. is just like f- like one film actually, because、oh. schools doesn't like they don't want to watch multiple films,、mm. Mm. and it's sh- it's supposed to be under like five minutes. So I just made a film that was like two minutes. That was related to、oh. my essay and my journey.、Um, yeah, so it's about how I want to embrace diversity and how the how and, and it was all like visual. So and it、mm. connected to my essay. I, and I think that was what kind of showed me to the colleges and、mm. how and something that connected、mm. the school f- with me. All right, let's move on to the next question. Thank you, by the way.、Um, you know, to be a college student and also after、uh, post college, I'm pretty sure、um, you know there must be very memorable experiences. You know, as well, actually a college kid, college student.、Um, what would be your most So far, maybe just finished a freshman and the four years, you know, college. What was the、uh, most memorable college life experience and why? Let's start it from、uh, Kayla.、Um, so I've been helping a lot of、um, juniors and seniors at my school,、mm. um, my like upperclassmen film students,、mm. and. Since like when you are a junior year, you start making your own film,、mm. um, a short film, and as a freshman, I was、mm. able to help them by being a boom operator,、mm. like the boom mic, and I've been helping like I think nine or eight movies like mm. that, mm. and I think one of the most memorable experiences was one of them when we all went to Long Island and、mm. um, we took the L I R R. Or I forgot the name of the train, but、oh. it was this Long Island <laughs> Railroad. Yeah, so I think、oh, it's、okay. L I R R.、Um, and we went there, and <clears throat> there was this scene where we,、um, we shot at a park、uh. facing a. I think it was a lake in Long mm. Island, mm. and it was just so beautiful, and I just felt so. I don't know. It's a simple word like happy、mm. because、um, I was there with like my friends. Um, shooting a film,、mm. and so、uh, it just felt like dream come true, and、mm. um, that moment was beautiful. Yes. Can we watch that video?、Um, that it's not my film,、oh. but if if the director chooses to make it public, then maybe yeah.、Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 <coughs> then maybe one day we're gonna watch then. I don't know if it's gonna be appropriate for the stu- <laughs> for the students、oh. here, but it's a、oh, college、really? it's、really? a college film, so、oh. they try、Is、to do everything. The rated R? <laughs> I don't、oh, think、wow. it would be rated R. It's just、Damn. some swearing, I guess. But、uh, oh, really? Yeah, but、um, I, I've college, it was an interesting script. It was about like a boyfriend、um, intoxicating his girl girlfriend. Okay, wait, wait, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, whoa, we whoa, ain't airing that. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay,、yeah. uh, sorry, uh, elementary uh, and middle school, <laughs> yes, <and laughs> high school. <laughs> okay,、um, what about relationship with others? Um, so NYU is a school that like is very proud of the diversity that、mm. they have achieved,、mm. and. I do agree with that. That it's very diverse because a lot of people there are multicultural. Like they come from a background of like moving around from there to there, and a lot of them are also just pure Americans.、Uh-huh. Um, so like the mix of that,、mm. uh, the mix of multicultural life and、um, American kids、um, is very interesting.、Mm. And、um, especially for me, I think I bonded well with like students from. Like the European countries and like South American countries,、oh. because a lot of them had multicultural backgrounds as well.、Mm. A lot of South American students like moved from Mexico to Argentina to like Brazil,、oh. and 
um, just having that um, cultural bond, hmm. like multicultural bond, a bond, I guess, hmm. oh, is very, very. I'm very just thankful to hmm. have to to have those people around me hmm. because they understand. Um, What it feels to be in America as a mm. multicultural student, mm. and so um, I think I think there are just many students there, and mm. out of all of them, you cannot not find someone who you bond with, mm. and so I think that's like the benefit of go- of going to like a big school, especially in a mm. city. Um, mm. You can just make friends like that if you. What will be last question? What will be the quite related with the question though? What will be the uh, most fascinating thing you really like in? New York and worst, uh-huh. worst, and, and then, there's yeah, a lot of worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just okay, fa- 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 fascinating part, and uh-huh. then worst. Okay, thing. so NYU was my dream school for uh-huh. a long, long time. Uh-huh. And I think the biggest reason was just because it's in New York, uh-huh. and um, I that dream was like growing in me for a long time since I was watching movies that was like that were based in New York like Spider-Man or Home oh, Alone yeah, yeah. or That's true. um just watching those movies it just felt like the city was where everything ha- um everything happens and that turns out to be true cuz um in New York you really have every artist every every musician every filmmaker it's just a lot of it is all there hmm. so It's always available most of the times um, because if you live in New York mm. as a resident or a student like me, you can go to MoMA, the Museum Museum oh. of Modern Arts, mm. for free. Mm. And um, as a resident, yeah, as a oh. resident or a student. Mm. And so, I think the most fascinating part of New York is just having all those artistic and cultural. Um, benefits mm. and being able to experience so many different things, mm. um, and it didn't. It, it was as I expected. I, I guess more than I expected. Mm. But there are also bad things mm. about New York mm. City. Um, I think one of the biggest things is that everything is very expensive. Oh. But I mean, I think you expect that. Um, and for me, I'm a very sensitive. Smeller, oh. so uh, it's very painful to stay outside for a long time when it smells like I don't know car engine oil, um, oh. like the methane gas, oh. and also people are always smoking, and um, it's dirty. It's hmm. not sanitary, <laughs> and you, they also don't have public bathrooms. So good no luck on that. Bathroom. No public bathrooms. No public bathrooms. Probably But as a student, at least I can go to like a school building oh. and use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. But if you're like a, I don't know, if you're there as a tourist, you have to go to a restaurant and pay uh, um, okay. and eat and This give tips true. and then go to oh. a bathroom. So <laughs> it's very it's true. it's very um, difficult. But I think all of the bad things are covered by. All of the romantic sceneries and oh. all of the cultural experiences I can have there, and it's like it's blinding almost. Mm. So oh really? Yes, yeah, so blind dating. Um, everything, all of the bad things are just kind of covered by the good parts of New York City. I feel like, um, since like the sceneries are just blinding and the cultural experiences, uh, the artistic um, experiences you can have by just observing the city. Um, the busy city is just mm. very fun. Mm. So we go to go to the. Uh, I mean, our students actually uh, of a bunch of kids uh, go to the uh, <coughs> New York and uh, Boston this fall. Yeah, uh, I think uh, September. So then we have to be really careful for public bathroom the situation. <laughs> right, then. right, right. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you. What about Micah? What's the memorable you know experience your college life and best experience in? California, mm. Southern California, and worst experience in Southern California. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so for memorable experience, so if so, I'm sure you guys are all high schoolers and elementary, middle school. So every every morning, you know, you guys wake up, come to school, right, and you stay here until around dinner time, and then go home, right. So in college, um, there are certain classes where you get um, free passes. Mm. I mean. For for me, I had like three free passes, so basically you don't have to come to class, and you'll still get your grade, and you'll be good. Um, and <laughs> this might sound a little bit um, bad in a way, 
and I ain't trying to spoil it, spoil everyone, but uh-huh. at least for me, it was. I think those were some of the good times. I um, I had a good relationship with my dorm mm. dormitory friends, mm. so um, we would somehow schedule like a free pass day mm. so that we can go to the beach mm. and have fun. Oh, um, so it's in California. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> something to counter uh, Caleb's school, you know, NYU, NYU, like New York, you know, it's busy, but it's you we know blinding with culture. Yeah. But for us, you know, our weather is like. Oh yeah, it is. Mm, it's I like, like snow. the best. Yeah. <laughs> and rain. Yeah. So California, actually, LA could go to the the mountain area. I mean, those. Yeah, yeah. We we got snow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. If we need it, you know, we we can just use those machines. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we good. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, the weather is very nice. Um, um, I, I guess that is the the best part about California, mm. um, and especially the food. Mm. Um, that's something I miss uh, personally. Um, I'm in Philadelphia right now, so mm. I'm closer to New York now. Mm. So, you know, I'm already feeling <laughs> oh. the um, my missing the missing um, the sadness of food oh. that is not prominent in the East Side. Um, where where I was like mm. I loved I love Chinese food like Taiwanese food Korean food like mostly Asian food mm. and <laughs> California Southern California yeah they got some they got right. some good stuff there yeah right. so what about worst experience worst hmm I guess this might be kind of reaching too far but I guess the worst experience or the worst part about California is sometimes it could be a little mm, like the mood is just always consistent like it's always oh. it feels always relaxing oh. it's always the same too much sun so yeah it's like just <laughs> the weather's too nice yeah, sometimes too nice, like right. you know like there's just that day where you failed your exam and like you're like oh. about to cry and then the sun is just hitting you in the face right <laughs> you just want to oh. be sad with the moment and oh. but it's just like the heat is just killing you yeah I guess okay. that's the Thank you. <laughs> Biola University is one of the best Christian universities in America, actually. So, what was your, um, let's say, you know, m- you know, most memorable experience you know, while studying um, actually Christian University, mm. th- which is Biola? Mm. So, um, I know. So, we're uh, JCS is a Christian school too. So, I'm pretty sure some of you are looking towards Christian schools too. Um, mm. I'd say the best part about Christian schools, of course, is that um, the community mm. is um, very Christian-like. Mm. Um, there are some non-Christians, but the whole mood of the school mm. definitely runs on a Christian mm. um, ethic. Mm. So. Uh, if you like whenever you make friends you kind of have a similar value like a similar um, ethical stance in a way Mm. Um, so I would say that's like the best part Um, but sometimes it could also kind of trap you in a bubble too in a way so that's something you should kind of balance out but Mm. definitely um, it's way much easier to um, interact with churches Mm. um, you know with Christian friends maybe have prayer meetings and mm. stuff like that mm. worship yeah mm. so that's all there so one of our school kids uh, you know visit um Biola university a few years ago and then mm. she kept saying <coughs> that uh Biola is my dream school really yeah, wow so i don't apply other schools only one Biola. <laughs> oh okay so her name is wow. yesung really yesung yesung yes yes <coughs> i don't know about last name so mm. yesung I think he's a right? Yeah, oh, maybe. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. There are so many Yesungs. This uh, is true. Yeah. Uh, Park Yesung, uh, yeah. uh, Kim Yesung. Yes, yeah, 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 anonymous yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. Let's move on next question. All right, life is tough. So it's not easy uh, being an adult. And a lot of, you know, our school kids um, look for uh, being a you know, adult and a lot of freedom, a lot mm-hmm. of choices they look for. But, you know, the reality is not, you know, easy at all. So I'm pretty sure, you know, when you work on your uh, all the you know, academic you know, stuff you know, as a college kid, uh, there must be some lot of challenges and difficulties in your life. What was the most difficult uh, experience, you know, as a student, a college student, and how did you get overcome? And the, what was the uh, main, let's say, uh, motivation or factors uh, you got, you know, over achievement? 
Uh, that's the the question. Uh, let's get started from Kilo. Uh, oh, Micah. Micah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think um, this actually starts when you're a high school student too, mm. um, and um, I I feel like everyone says this, but it, it is true. Um, I think time management. Time um, management. Yeah, mm. and I do remember from a previous podcast from our recent gradu- no, uh, graduates graduates. Right, right, um, right. They were talking about time management too. Mm. Um, Sad news: time management gets harder in college. <laughs> um, so for me. I love gaming, playing uh, music, uh, um, a lot of other activities. Mm. So when it comes to balancing that, especially when you have the freedom, because mm. like when you come to school, you know you're you're at the place mm. at, at a certain location where you have to focus, you have to concentrate. But when you're in college, you have classes um, and like different time slots. So um, it's very important how you use. Mm. Um, those in between times, mm. yeah. So it could be like walking to class, like that could already be like five to ten minutes. So mm. you need to be able to, you know, manage all of those tiny mm. time um, time slots. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. for me, that was the hardest. Um, how I overcame that. Um, it's funny how time management time management works. Um, mm. For me, time management got better through time. Oh. <laughs> that sounds funny, but mm. um, I think it's just about getting used to it too. Mm. Um, I know some people are they do better with having like a diary mm. or like um, using Google Calendar right, stuff. Right. Um, I tried that; uh, it didn't work for me. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, <laughs> yeah. So. I think for me, just time. Yeah, time the, the yeah. The more I got older, the more better I got at it. Mm. Yeah. So, okay, life wisdom that you have too. So. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, how about Killer? Uh, I think for me, it's like Micah talked about how bio love feels. Um, like, like you have people, and you know that they have most of the time similar values, mm. and I think. Um, Going to JCS was also like that, um, being in a safe like a bubble and a very good community like a family, and NYU is kind of like the opposite of that. Mm. There are no bubbles kind mm. of, mm. and every person, each person, is its own bubble, and um, so I think the hardest part for me was just missing family and food mm. mostly. Oh. Um, yeah, cause like. It was my first time living alone, and it's like the city is a place where it's very lonely because there are so many people around you, and that even like makes you feel more lonely. So it's like a weird place, but um, yeah, I think for me it was um, just homesickness, oh. um, wanting to like see family and wanting to eat Korean food, mm. and New York has bad Korean food. <laughs> <laughs> so, ex- ex- I mean, except for like Queens, but oh, I yes. can't go all the way there like alone. So, I mean, even with friends, that's kind of far. So, um, yeah. Mm. So, I missed food and my family and like a community that I safe. I feel like safe in. Um, I think it's probably because I was a freshman. Mm. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. And I don't think I overcame it. Honestly, I think I will mm. still feel homesick right, when right, I go right. back mm. there. Mm. But it's just a. I think again, the solution will be time. That's true. Um, yeah. um, trying to have two homes at the same time is not the easiest thing to do, but I hope I can do that next mm. year. Yes. Yeah. Probably um, after two or three years, uh, you feel like going back to uh, New York as like kind of home, second home. Yeah. Or maybe like uh, in other ways. When you come back to Korea, you feel like kind of like you visit, um, kind of visiting your mom and dad. But that kind of feeling you may have mm. in the near future. That's what I experienced too. So. Mm. All right, next question is this one, guys. More spiritual Christian spirituality, mm. uh, faith, you know, base uh, the question. You know, we do um, provide a lot of Christian uh, educations, mm. not only the you know reading the Bible or just praying, but <coughs> more let's say a discernment in you know biblical perspectives, mm. like how we could make the right choice mm. in the name of Christ in the you know in terms of Bible biblical perspectives. Today is a lot of um, you know let's say people the different 
uh, opinions and uh, perspectives and in terms of uh, ethics and morality, especially in New York and California, very liberal uh, states and uh, mm. a lot of you know, controversial issues, social issues right now. So as a actually a uh, Christian uh, person and uh, living in the states, especially the particularly uh, New York and California and uh, Philadelphia, as more multi, you know, uh, you know, diverse in you know, a city, uh, which is the a lot of different perspectives and people sometimes argue, sometimes really hard to be uh, recognized. I mean, reconciled. Um, in this situation, the what was the let's say most ex- difficult experience which you had uh, in last, you know, a few years or last year? So, if you don't mind, uh, would you share with us? Let's say start start from uh, Micah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, since I went to Biola, uh, it was a Christian atmosphere. Mm. But the funny thing is, even if you're in a Christian atmosphere, mm. um, when you leave school, um, like maybe go to the mall or like. Go to like a cafe like mm. out of school like mm. you're definitely in a different territory in a way right um for me like right now i am mm. I'm, I'm currently working in philadelphia mm. and um i guess the states in general there's just way much more religions way much more different types of social identities that people um accept mm. in a way um and as a christian i think it's the hardest part is um to be able to make the right decision mm. while also kind of bringing peace to the mm. environment mm-hmm. because there there might be situations where maybe you're like a leader of a community mm. and you have to make a decision and there are going to be people that go against those um, those decisions mm. and um, i think those are the times that it's the hardest yeah um mm. something i learned um in the states is I think I think we always learn this that um, like Jesus Jesus was always a great example to people mm. um, and um, he, Jesus was not a person who only just rebuked everyone and mm. was always trying to fix everything mm. he was more um, accepting mm. of things he was mm. he was um, he was just there mm. right um, and I think that's what um, us as Christians we need to kind of imply mm. I'm not imply my bad mm. apply mm. Um, when our, within our lives mm. um, that as long as we're a good example to people mm. um, I think it's important that they are the ones who are curious about us instead mm. of us being like oh you need to believe Jesus like you know you need to go to church like church mm. is great like that's that's all good too but um, when you're being a good example people mm. will you know Are, start to look yeah, have a right. good perspective of you mm, and mm. they'll maybe be curious about sense, oh yeah. yeah do you go to church like mm. wh- what's that about mm. yeah so I think for me being uh, influenced yeah I guess so yeah. so I think that's kind of my idea of that yeah yeah Or uh, in other ways, like a lot of uh, hypocrites, you know, the attitudes and being mm. rebuked or criticized by mm. secular non-believers as well. Mm. But just the uh, this kind of phenomenon is, uh, uh, exists, you know, all the, any you know locations, any places, countries too. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right. Thank you, uh, mm-hmm. Mike. The fellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, we're brothers, so <laughs> he, yeah, he gets confused. Yeah, exactly. we're all good. <laughs> uh, so. Again, as a freshman, I think this was a problem was uh, um, finding a church that I can oh. um, feel like a part of. Mm. And because um, when you're starting out there, because mm. um, most, of the, most of you probably go to church following your family. Um, mm. And you've been to that church for a long time, probably. And you have like friends there and you know the pastor, you know what, what the church believes in. But... Um, New York has a lot of different churches of different denominations and it was just a it was very hard researching churches and like trying to go there and Mm. not bonding too much because if you feel like you're committed to the church you can't really move on to a different church so Mm. it's like it's like a weird kind of um, level like a spectrum of commitment Mm. Um, so 
um, it was kind of like difficult for me to find a church. I think still like I don't really know which church that I, like which church I will be going for like the whole four years. Mm. But um, it's it's just definitely a new experience, um, new relationship with God. Trying to find a community that God means you to be in, and so that I think that was very difficult. I think like what Micah talked about, how there are people of different values, is very prominent in New York as well. Because I think it's part of like one of the part one part of the world where everything is tolerated almost, oh. and I think that in that everything, mm. Christianity is also part of that everything that is tolerated. So. Nobody would like criticize you for being a Christian. Like most of the people, most of the educated people mm. wouldn't be like, "You're Christian." Oh, but um, it's mm. just it's like most of the people in New York are just like, "I okay, that's your story. Um, this is my story." Or, or no, they don't really talk about their story either. It's just like this. That's your story. Okay, <laughs> and that's it. But um, mm. I think it's the same thing that Micah said about being a good example because. They actually start being curious about you. Like some people ask me, like, how how are you always so like so positive, or like how are you always so um, mm. I don't know, like different species. <laughs> <Yeah> . I'm Asian, <laughs> but <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but whoa. Yeah, 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 be yeah. careful. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they actually start getting curious because in New York there are so many things that. Are new to everyone, so mm. they do naturally get curious about you and mm. why you are so, like, a certain way. Yeah, yeah. like w when you live a Christian, I guess life, um, um, people notice you, and I think mm. as a as a college student, just keeping yourself um, as a Christian and just and don't be forceful mm. because. Then nobody will be forceful to you either. So, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. try try to be peaceful because I think number one is love your God and love your neighbors, and I think that's the biggest thing. Mm. So yes, I will give you uh, maybe a advice, one advice um, from my uh, perspectives. Maybe I went through this also, like you know, um, experience too. When my father's generation talk about the world today. You know what they said. Oh my! You know my time was much better. You know better people and mindset, or their attitudes, more naive, and morality, ethics, uh, oh, much much you know the, you know better. And then a lot of younger kids uh, respect the elders. But today's you know it's getting worse. People they're really selfish. Uh, this is the uh, what you know used to say that, and I keep saying that. Oh, it's kind of you know very very old you know story, and then they were the old you know the version. And um, but the thing is this one: um, getting age. It doesn't mean that um, talk about the past, but the uh, let's say the seeing the world is quite a lot of different what you means and uh, aspects, which is the uh, as in aspects or perspectives. So, which means uh, more uh, accommodation to understand the world is more quite different way or objective way. So um, now I'm you know 50 years old right now and to see the world. Uh, I don't want to compare, but the thing is this one: the people getting more focused on themselves. That that's the I think the true uh, the uh, let's say universally uh, perfectly the uh, truth. So more self, you know, center and what you mentioned that oh, this is my story, your story. So which is the uh, okay? It's like somehow a respect, but somehow more focus on me. Yeah, me. So in that case, um, uh, there's no certain boundary when I keep saying that uh, me, 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 and sometimes uh, let's say some rationalize whenever I speak. To you know, which means that I trying to make myself as a right. Well, that that kind of perspective uh, people have, and especially even knowledge, even education. You know, <coughs> as long as long as we study, then make us you know more logic or some rationalized. That that's the uh, uh, perspective people have. And uh, when we said uh, Christianity, which is the uh, some. 
stubborn attitude, stubborn, you know, let's say opinions、mm-hmm. never change, and、mm-hmm. you know, people they kind of judge us or judge you know Christians, you know, people. So that that that's the、uh, their、um, you know perspective, which is not、uh, let's say the right and wrong issue, but what you mentioned that influence. Life, through the life of demonstration, how we could、uh, influence them, inspire them.、Um, that is the, probably one of the best ways、uh, people come to the cross and you know, know about you know, us, especially Christians, which is not an easy way yeah, at all. So, yeah, that, that's the, probably,、um, you know, we may、uh, give this you know, the message to the, even the younger kids, you know, school kids, and even. Other generations and your generation too. So, yeah. All right, let's、uh, move on to the next question. So, what would be your near and future plan as a college student and the person who just joined、uh, you know, you know, society as、mm-hmm. a full time worker?、Mm-hmm. So, probably. You still, you guys singles and you know, looking for maybe girlfriends, <laughs>、uh, maybe、um, your mom, your dad, praying for that, right? So, <laughs> every day, <laughs> yeah. What's your phone number? But I don't know. So, what you said, my phone number is 101 and s <laughs> <laughs> So, let's talk about、um, if you have, then, then it's okay. If you don't or still praying, you can, you know, feel free to, you know, share with that. All right, let's get started from with、um, Micah. Um, my future goals.、Um, so, for me, I think, I think、um, right now, society,、mm. um, it's not really like the old days where <laughs> we、mm. literally just set one goal.、Mm. And I mean, that's definitely a good idea too. But、um, at least for me,、mm. um, there, are, there are two things that I. Um, love to do and pursue, and those two things are、uh, music and writing.、Mm. Um, so, right now, I, I'm not doing like music as a full time career, but I'm still doing that on the side.、Mm. Um, I did some stuff with Caleb too.、Oh. Um, so, and I'm also pursuing my career in writing, <laughs>、yeah. um, writing grants, and all that stuff. So,、mm. I think my plan、um, isn't. Extremely specific, it's more about maintaining my love and pursuit for、mm. writing and music. And、um, I'm just waiting for, I guess, making the opportunity for God to really、um, clear a path for me、mm. to really,、mm. um, you know, <coughs> do well in those both,、um, both of those、um, parts. So, that, I guess that is my future plan for now.、Mm-hmm. Um, and Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it for Thank now. Thank you,、yeah. brother. All right, Kilo.、Uh, for me, it's I'm a freshman, and、um, uh, in, our, in our course of graduating this film major at NYU,、um, it's kind of necessary to make two important films. And you need money to do that.、Mm. The school does provide you money, but it's not enough.、Mm. So I think my near future plan would be trying to work as、mm. much as possible、mm. and saving up money for my future mm. film mm. and making many friends and many mentors for me so that、um, I can learn more about film and. Life and the business there. So,、oh. yeah, I think I'm still very young and I just have so much to learn.、Mm. And, yeah, and, and very important the important thing is that I want to enjoy the process.、Mm. So, I'll try to choose, like, even like work something that I really believe that I'm interested in and something、mm. that I know that I'll learn from it. So, yeah. Jay, a bong juno. Jay, the kimi jun. Jay, the kimi jun. Oh, okay. okay. That's good. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next question.、Um, you just b e c o m e a college student and you just finished your、uh, college and be a、uh, professional full time、uh, mm-hmm. worker right now. So, what would be your A near or future、uh, the plan if you have. So, if you don't mind, please share with us. Let's get started from Micah. Yeah,、um, so future plan. 
Um, for me, I grew up、um, loving music、mm. um, and also writing. And for now, I think my future plan is to maintain both of those two careers.、Mm. Um, I am professionally working、um, more towards writing at the moment,、mm. but I've not.、Um, I'm still holding on to music as well.、Um, mm. I've been working with Caleb with some、mm. projects too. So、um, <laughs> that's, that's, pre-、uh, that's been a very cool experience.、Um. So、um, I think my future plan would, yeah, to.、Um, Continue to bloom in those two careers、mm. for writing and music. Oh, yeah. Writing means、uh, composing?、Um, oh, yeah. So <laughs> when I mean writing,、um, I mean more in um, um, writing in for <laughs> money. No. <laughs> <laughs> for money.、Woman. Maybe, yeah, maybe for money.、Um, <laughs> The work that I do right now is、um, it's grant, it's called grant writing.、Uh-huh. Um, so I write applications and stuff. So、um, that's、well, all. It's kind of money then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess it is. Yeah, 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 it is. Writing、so、for、I'm, money. I、oh. write stuff to get funding. Yeah, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so、funding. I guess it's that way in writing. Yeah.、Oh. Or just like article writing too. Or like <laughs> writing、okay. about. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> This interview,、uh, I'm pretty sure、uh, our school kids, elementary, middle, and high school kids, they be, they're going to watch this one. So,、um, as a JCS alumni,、uh, what would be your recommendations、uh, for our, our, let's say, elementary, middle, and high? We got to、uh, like, distinguish three tiers, okay?、Oh, elementary, wow, middle,、levels. and high. Because Quite different job description that you have.、Mm. But a lot of people they said, oh, elementary, Nora, Nora, so now I'm going to go to the school. So, what would be your advice? Even high school, not too much study,、mm. but how do you, let's say, top e m a n a g e m e n t or something like that?、Mm. All those who really are looking for college, what would be your advice? Maybe Bob, you can tell us a little bit about that. Maybe Bob, you can tell us a little bit about that. Maybe Bob, you can tell us a little bit about that. Maybe Bob, you can tell us a little b For elementary school,、um, <laughs> my dream since I was a kid changed many times、uh, until、mm. I was like eighth grade,、mm. until I wanted to be a filmmaker.、Mm. I, my dream was to be a doctor, to be a game designer, to be、um, a. I don't know, there were just many jobs that I wanted to、mm. I, I wanted to be a magician.、Uh-huh. Um, and as an elementary student,、mm. but. I don't regret dreaming those dreams. I、mm. think that when you're in elementary school, you don't have to study like a specific field of study. You just have to study what the school is teaching you、mm. and just be very attentive and try to do your best f- with all the schoolwork.、Mm. But at the same time, it's It's really important to dream. It's important to dream. Oh, I'm going to talk about it. 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 초등학생 때 최대한 꿈을 많이 꾸는 게 중요하다고 생각하고요. 어, 최대한 자기가 뭘 좋아하는지, 뭘 잘하는지도 중요하지만, 정, 어, 초등학생 때는 진짜 어, 뭘 좋아하는지를 찾는다고 하여튼 그냥 즐길 수 있는 게 음. 무엇인지를 음. 어, 알아내는 게 되게 중요하다고 생각하고, 음. 그리고 그것보다도 더 중요한 거는 이제, 학교에서 주는 워크랑 학교에서 하는 공부들을 최대한 열심히 하는 게 기본기가 탄탄해야 음. 또 자기가 그치. 원하는 걸 찾고 그거를 해낼 수가 있기 때문에 숙제도 잘 하셔야 됩니다 숙제를 <웃음> 열심히 <웃음> 하고 <웃음> 어, 공부도 열심히 하는 것도 <웃음> 좋지만 <웃음> 좋지만 뭘 좋아하는지 찾는 것도 어. 중요하고 또 꿈꾸는 게 중요하다고 생각합니다 그 켈럽하고 마이크가 옛날에 어렸을 때 사진들이 있어요 우리 어. 어렸을 때 <웃음> 네. 네. 어. 지금 아마 올 보일 수 있는데 역사 <웃음> 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 How about the Micah? What would be your advice for our school kids, elementary, middle, and high school? Yeah, so、um, I think adding on、um, from Caleb's advice,、mm. I think for elementary students, it, yeah, it is very important、um, to just dream.、Mm. Yeah, it, it's、um, just dream while you're sleeping too, you know,、mm. just keep on dreaming. Yeah,、uh, I think that's the, best,、um, that's the best thing you could do when you're in elementary school.、Um, I think going up to middle and high, 
um, I think that's when you start to learn about relationships.、Mm. Um, maybe both platonic and romantic, maybe.、Mm. Um, but、um, when I mean relationships, I mean、um, being able to accept、mm. and understand different perspectives.、Mm. Um, we all, you know, grow up. Within a family, and our parents、mm. might have certain values and ethics、mm. that might、um, be contrary with、um, some of your friends and your classmates. And I think right now we live in a world where it's important to be flexible. Right.、Uh, flexible.、Right. Um, but then also at the same time, keeping your ethics with yourself too. So I think it's important for actually middle and high schoolers to、um, train, you know, being.、Mm. Um, accepting of other things,、mm, you know,、mm. it's.、Um, I think it's important. I think it actually will help you along the way, all the way to college <coughs> and even into adulthood. Mm, yeah, mm. because、That's、being、right. stubborn is, <coughs> I think, is probably one of the worst mm, <laughs> mm. things you can have、yeah. going into society. Anti-social、yeah. person. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. And the last one is the. What will be your,、uh, let's say, the words for our school teachers?、Mm. Um, pretty sure.、Uh, maybe Mike.、Uh, Uh, maybe your time, our little bit smaller,、uh, and then maybe less、uh, staff members. But there are some the still the you know, same people working here.、Mm-hmm. So、um, what would you say? What would be your、uh, you know words to our school teachers? And you, you know, since you guys participate our school graduation ceremony, I think、mm-hmm. you may have some a lot of different feeling, mixed feeling、mm-hmm. you do have. So、uh, if you don't mind, please share with us. So.、Um, JCS teachers,、um, yeah, I was once a JCS teacher、mm. before. <laughs> I taught ESL for a short period.、Mm. Um, I worked as a TA before here too, and、um, it was a very short period. But I was a,、um, able to experience the hard work that all our JCS teachers go through. So I wanted to say、um, just thank you、mm. uh, to all our JCS teachers because it is not easy to incorporate. Both Christian and ac- academic、um, wisdom and excellence、mm-hmm. at the same time.、Mm-hmm. So I I think that's a big asset that all of our teachers have.、Mm-hmm. So I really appreciate that. And、um, yeah, thank you f- to everyone. Okay, all right. How about Kilo?、Um, I think I want to say the same thing that I appreciate all of the work.、Mm-hmm. But、um, I guess more specifically, it would be、um, how I'm thankful about. The teachers being like caring about the students,、mm. not just teaching the students.、Mm. Um, it's almost like a family.、Um, it's it's a small community, and in a small community, it's important to have trust in each other. And I think the teachers trust us first, and that lets the tr-、um, students trust the teacher as well. And having that trust, like mutual trust,、um, makes the students try harder. And、um, feel mm. safer mm.、Um, when studying, and also in, in their journey as a Christian student.、Mm. Um, so,、um, thank you. All right, thank you so much for your time.、I'm, thank I, you. I, what I heard that you guys leave soon, right?、Mm. You're gonna go back to the states when?、Cool. Um, yeah, basically tomorrow in the morning. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So. So when this video will be released and you'll、mm. be in the,、uh, the states, oh yeah,、uh, I'll be、uh, yeah, from the states. states. <laughs> of course, yeah, I'll be holding hands with Caleb.、Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> All right, thanks for your valuable time yeah, today. Thank you.、And、thank you for your time too. All right, let me、uh, pray for you and then finish up. Jesus, we thank you for today and thank you for this great、uh, interview with our school alumni, Micah and Caleb Kim, and continue continually bless them and their journey. All the religious with others, and work, and study, and financial situation, health, and even faith in Christ. So wherever they go, be with them and give them your wisdom and knowledge. And thank you for this great opportunity.、Uh, our school students and teachers and staff members could watch and listen from our school students and alumni students what they learn from here and from the society. So bless upon this community as well. Thank you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.